How's everybody doing today? We're actually entering the uh, city of Charleston right now, going over the, uh, we'll call it a new bridge. It's been here for a few years, uh, across the Cooper River, Ravenel Bridge. And we'll talk about some uh, blockchain uh, stuff that's going on. And uh, a lot of new uh, businesses have come to Charleston, especially a lot of industry and uh, automobile uh, sector like Mercedes, Volvo. They just built new production plants here. Uh, Mercedes is making uh, vans. Uh, Volvo is making a variety of cars here. And we have Bowen. Bowen actually uh, makes a lot of their airplanes here. And uh, we're going to talk about some real estate too as well here in uh, the holy city as they call it here. It's a good town, always a very friendly town. One of the friendliest cities you've ever come to. And uh, going over the bridge right now in the actually down here to Folly Beach is where I'm headed. But uh, let's go ahead and get the video going and uh, see what we can uh, learn about Charleston and about the potential of uh, blockchain and some real estate in this area. And everybody enjoy the video. Thank you. How's everybody doing today? We are down here in uh, beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. Um, one of America's most beautiful cities, actually, here at uh, CoastalCarolinaLife.net. A bunch of uh, beautiful properties down here. If anybody, if you've never been to Charleston, you really uh, need to come to Charleston and uh, check out this beautiful city. All kinds of uh, great stuff down here. Uh, other small towns around here. Beautiful beaches as well. Folly Beach, Mount Pleasant. You have Alla Palms. Uh, a little bit further south, you got Beaufort and Hilton Head. Great area. Growing area, too. Uh, a lot of new jobs have come to this area, especially in the automobile industry. We've actually seen uh, Mercedes-Benz actually build a uh, factory here in Volvo. They're actually making Mercedes and Volvo vehicles along with uh, the aerospace industry. Bowen has a plant here as well. And I emailed uh, uh, back in the spring Mercedes uh, home office about using digital assets like XRP. And uh, the email I sent was right here. I was wondering if, I, if Mercedes has looked into using blockchain products like uh, Ripple and their XRP token to move payments. And I got a response from Mercedes. Thanks for the interest in our company and the usage of new digital solutions. Dimer is, is close, is consistently analyzing the markets for new and efficient business solutions. From a current point of view, the regulatory and technical framework is not fully given in order to use Ripple XRP within our company. Nevertheless, we will continue to observe blockchain solutions, uh, example Ripple XRP for potential usage. And this actually came from the home office in Germany right here. Investor relations is where it came from. All right, there's the phone number and all that good stuff right there. And uh, while I was uh, getting that, and we have a BMW facility too in South Carolina, in Greenville, South Carolina. They were here first. And they have a lot of uh, companies in the area that supply a lot of suppliers. And one of the reasons Mercedes and Volvo came to Charleston is because they're at the port. And the port actually ships, one of the, it's one of the busiest ports in America. And they can get shipments in and out of, uh, pro of uh, parts that they need. Any parts that are made in Europe for these cars, and they can ship them to the United States fairly easily and very efficient. And anything they need to ship back over, anything they find, what they make, and they need to send it back over to Europe, they can send it uh, pretty uh, efficient and effectively. Uh, for one thing, uh, a lot of car companies now that were in the Midwest, like Detroit, Ohio, and places like that, they're moving uh, down south now. It's a little bit cheaper to do business down here, more tax, more tax incentives, taxes are not as much. And plus you have warm weather, and warm weather makes a big difference, especially shipping goods in and out of the ports. Brunswick, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida are also big ports for, autom for the automobile industry, both uh, domestic and um, uh, international as well so uh, we're seeing a lot of growth with that and a blockchain is going to have a big impact as far as logistics go 
and supply chain, especially verifying products. That's one thing you want to look at uh, to verify stuff. And I can show you some information. I just saw that um, blockchain and automobile industry. And there's been some papers and studies actually done on this. I know a V-Chain has a contract with BMW to monitor maintenance. Like, for example, if uh, your oil's changed, okay, or let's say, for example, an air filter is replaced, any maintenance work is done, it's going to be on the ledger. And it's kind of smart because you can't run the miles back either. So it may be, uh, you know, some used car salesman's worst nightmare, but... What's going to happen, I mean, it's going to be more efficient to go on the blockchain for the automobile industry. And as you can see, we do have a variety of articles right here you can pull up uh, recently, actually, within this year. And uh, what kind of tokens are going to be used is uh, not really for sure right now what will be used for that. Uh, I know with uh, Ripple XRP, as far as uh, on-demand liquidity, getting parts set uh, over very quickly that would help uh, in that respect so but there's other, going to be other tokens too that will digitize the industry as well and uh, we're seeing a lot of people uh, talk about that so it's uh, definitely an evolving industry as well that's going to affect everybody all right well, that's about all i have regarding that for right now at at this time and uh, we'll get some real estate down here uh the charleston area beautiful area uh, you do have, it's not all really wealthy. There are a lot of really wealthy people here. And there's a lot of affordable properties too as well. As you can see, we have a property here that's uh, in a decent price range, depending on where you go to. But um, pretty comparable to any city in America, to be honest with you. But it's a beautiful town. Though. Great. The food here is awesome. I mean, some of the best Southern cuisine you've ever had. It is immaculate. Are there any questions on that? You head over to the Low Country area of my website right here, and just go on down to the bottom right here and uh, fill out some information. Uh, American Real Estate or EF, American Real Estate Referrals or EF at gmail.com. And we have a map right here, kind of shows a, a geographical area of uh, Charleston and what we have. And as you can see right here. Uh, Highway 17, like in Myrtle Beach, is the main highway that goes through. Then you have your beaches, Isle of Palms, down to Folly Beach, and along the harbor here, you have a variety of different areas. And over where the automobile companies are at, that's in North Charleston, actually, on uh, 526 around this area. And uh, great town. If you ever get a chance, definitely come down and check out Charleston. It's a beautiful city. That's all we have right now, and I hope you folks have a great day, and I will talk with you later. Have a great evening.